Sylvia Milam and Roy Bryant came to take Emmett Till. He also said he heard a woman's voice that night coming from a truck parked outside. He believed it was Roy Bryant's wife, Carolyn, the woman Emmett Till had whistled at several days earlier inside her husband's grocery store in Money, Mississippi. Moe's right son, Simeon, Emmett's cousin, says his father told him the same thing. Oh, yes, it was uh, another man standing on the porch. My dad talked about it. There was uh, another person in the truck because when they marched Emmett out to the truck, and they asked the person inside the truck, is this the one? My dad said he heard a woman's voice identifying Emmett as the boy that did the whistling. So that must have been Brian's wife, Mr. Brian? At that time, we believed it was uh, Brian's wife. And after 48 and some odd years, there's nothing has arisen to dispel that uh, belief. Apparently, the local authorities back then believed it, too. And according to FBI communiques, issued an arrest warrant for Carolyn Bryant on suspicion of kidnapping, but she was never arrested or charged. Today, we've learned that Carolyn Bryant is a focus of the Justice Department's new investigation, suspected of having assisted her husband Roy and J.W. Milam in the abduction of Emmett Till. She was divorced in 1979 and has since remarried and moved several times. She had all but disappeared from public view until we found her, now age 70, and known as Carolyn Dunham, living in Greenville, Mississippi. While our cameraman was able to take these pictures of her, when I went to her house, she wouldn't answer the door. Moments later, her son, Frank Bryan, arrived, and we tried to talk to him. Can we talk to Mrs. Dunham? Can you talk to me? Can I tell you get her to come out? No. I have some questions I'd like to ask her about Emmett Till. Okay. Sorry? I'm too bad. Will she come out and talk to us? I just hear you. you. Tell me again. No. She won't. No. Goodbye. I'm back. I said goodbye. Goodbye. Yes. You leaving? No, you will. We called the house later in the day, and neither Frank Bryant nor his mother Carolyn would discuss the Emmett Till case any further.